your email will never be shared. All right, so there we go. Look at that. Now you have a squeezed page created, but remember, it's not mobile optimized yet. It will be mobile optimized after you put it through the 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 code over, I mean the software that I had developed right here, but we're getting to that still. So now that you've created a cool thing, the next, I mean a cool squeeze page and have some good writing on it, then, or copy, the next big thing is the button, because you want them to have a call to action button, you want to have a call to action button, so you can say, email me the guide, and then if we want to center that, we could go like that, and we could just center it, or we could leave it to the side, or we could change the button of it. How cool is that? I mean, that's what I'm saying. The power of using the Aweber here to create yourself a squeeze page is so easy, and it's and it's literally you could change it to whatever you want. And I mean, it's perfect. But the only problem was when I first started doing this was if you take this this uh, code for this squeeze page we're having we're creating right now with Aweber, it doesn't view correctly on a phone. It's very very small. It's like all distorted and you have to zoom in really close and all that stuff, which we don't want people doing. We want people to literally be able to just see it exactly how we're viewing it right here. Like let's ex say the phone is the screen, right? Say the phone's here and we just want the screen to take up this whole thing and we don't want any zooming in or anything just have it show up right there on their phone and that was impossible before that's why I had this software created for myself and guess what this is how I created a list of 20,000 plus people in less than a month alright so it works trust me so now that we've done that we're gonna go save web form and we're gonna go cr go to next step so this is the this is the next part so right here where it says thank you page you can you can use their basic version which we'll preview here and it just says thank you for subscribing or you could do what I like to do and that is send them to a CPA offer now the reason why I do this is because remember how you're gonna be spending money or not much money at all but you're gonna be spending a few cents a click to advertise this this mobile optimized squeeze page on a mobile advertising platform so the thing is that I like to make my money back up front and the way that I do that is I make the thank you page a CPA offer so let's say for example when every every time someone fills in their email on the, the thank you page they're already gonna be they're already gonna be filling in their email before so this time now the next time when they fill in their email they're gonna be ready being sucked in a little bit so they're gonna fill it in again most likely and conversion rates are really high with that so now you make your money back up front so then anything you make from your list from then on is profit which is huge so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to a CPA network right now called peerfly.com and uh, I'm gonna show you um, a, a CPA no, a CPA offer that you can use for this campaign and obviously you could do your own campaigns if you want I mean your own niches and everything but I'm showing you a campaign that you could actually use to build yourself a list right now so um, Peerfly and it's a CPA network it takes less than 10 minutes to sign up with them they don't ha make you call them or anything it's literally you sign up and they approve you within a few hours all right very very easy but the easiest CPA network I've been approved to ever so uh, yeah, obviously, if you are part of other CPA networks already, then that's totally fine. Go with them. But if you're new to CPA and you don't really know how to get started with it, you don't have a network, and you want to do this method by having a CPA network, a CPA offer as a thank you page, then use Peerfly. So uh, what we're going to do here, by the way, I'll link you underneath here for Peerfly as well, underneath this video. So we're going to go to Publishers here. And uh, this is one of my accounts, my test accounts here, and I'm just going to show you an offer that you can use right now. So we're going to go to all offers here, and the key thing is I like to use email submits. Now, you could find a weight loss email submit, but what I've had success with is this one, $500 Victoria's Secret gift card. Now, the reason it is because we're going to be targeting only females for this campaign, and on top of it... Um, females like Victoria's Secret, girls like Victoria's Secret, and on top of that, if they're trying to lose weight or something, this might they might think in their head subconsciously, oh, well, maybe I could use this $500 to get some, some nice stuff from Victoria's Secret when I start, lo start losing weight. So it kind of works hand in hand. So that's why I like to use this $500 Victoria's Secret card. And you can see here, you get paid $1.30 every time someone fills in their, their email. So this is what the page looks like right here. 
um, email, my bad, that was another one I was using. Here, this one's a zip submit. So every time someone fills in their zip code, which is even easier. So uh, right here, enter your zip code and click continue, you get paid $1.30. All right, so we're going to create a link for this. So we're going to, um, this is my affiliate link right here that Peerfly gave, gave me. So I'm going to copy that. All right. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to say I want to do a custom page. So this is going to be the custom the custom page that the that the squeeze page is going to send you to after they fill it in. It's going to send them to the CPA offer now. All right. So that's the, that's very easy. Just copy and paste it from the CPA network. Remember, you could use whatever offer you want, um, whatever network you want. But I'm just showing you an example from Peerfly right now. And we're going to save this web form. And we're going to go to step three. Now, this is where it gets good. I will install my form. So you are comfortable with HTML and have access to your edit pages. Correct. So we want to click that. And then you see here it says JavaScript snippet. We don't want that. We want the raw HTML. So you're going to take the raw HTML here by just clicking the tab right here. And we're going to copy that. All right. And we're going to go back to a little software tool here. Now, you see how it says place your AWeber HTML? Your AWeber HTML is this, what I just copied, all right? So we're going to go back here, and we're going to just plug it in right there. You literally just copy and paste the whole thing into right there. And right here where it says select for taller taller name and email fields, that means it's going to make it, make it a bit bigger on the phone. So as you can see, example down here, these are example of squeeze pages that the phone has created, I mean that my software has created for myself, and you can see how they, they're a bit bigger, these, these, uh, these email fields. So that's because I checked this off. If you want to have a smaller email field, then you don't need to check this off, but I get the best conversions when I check that off, all right? Then what we do is create my mobile optimized squeeze page. And there you go, your mobile optimized squeeze page link. So here it is. So what we're doing is we're actually hosting it for you too. So you don't have to have any website or anything. If you click this, this is your mobile optimized squeeze page that was just created. As you can see, it looks really, really awkward on the computer because remember, this is mobile optimized now. It's not for the internet. I mean, it's not for the internet on a PC. It's for the internet on a phone. So don't get scared when it looks like this. This is correct, all right? This is what it should look like. So now that we have the link, right up top here, you could literally just copy the link. So we're going to copy it. All right. That is now your link to this squeeze page. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to a website called tinyurl.com. And the reason we're going to tinyurl.com is because that link's quite long and we want to shorten it. So it's just easier for us to keep track of. So we're going to tinyurl.com slash, and we can make it uh, anything we want. We could just keep make it tiny just like that, or we could create it. Now, uh, Obviously, no one's going to see this link, so it doesn't matter what we want to name it at the end. So we're going to just make it tiny and use some random numbers. So here we go. This is our new link right here. All right, and you can see if we try it at the top here, it takes us to the exact same place. All right. So now that we have our new link, we want to advertise it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take you on to AdMob right now, which is a mobile advertising platform, um, one of the biggest out there actually. And I'm going to show you step by step how to set up this campaign so you can literally just follow me along here and then get things running within the next uh, five minutes or so. It's very, very easy. So we're going to uh, join AdMob. It's free to join AdMob.